Okay, well, um, I decided to make an updated install video for my Reshade Wild Hunt Adaptive. Some things have recently changed. I've added some new files, and for different suite FX, has also been updated to 1.2, so there's something that's a little bit different with that. So I wanted to make sure I'm getting you guys the uh, up-to-date information as far as the install so there's no confusion. Okay, so those who are, are new to, to my Reshade Wild Hunt Adaptive and uh, don't know exactly what it does, it's a reshade that uses a program called Different Reshade Presets for each location. And what it does is that it will read your location in game and load a reshade preset that has been adjusted for that location, uh, such as White Orchard or uh, Velanova Grad, Skellige, etc. Uh, so it's, it's nice that you can have a reshade that is tailored towards that location instead of just having one general reshade preset that applies to all areas. Uh, it's something that has been talked about before and thought about. It just wasn't ever possible until we actually got this uh, mod right here, the different reshade presets for each location. So it actually works very nice. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over the install steps now so, so you guys can see how easily it is to use this reshade. What you're going to need is you're going to need a couple things. One is you're going to need the mod different SFX or reshade preset for each location as well as my reshade wild hunt adaptive so what you can do is uh, go ahead into the files tab and you're going to download the different reshade presets for each location you can go ahead and just download he's got 1.2 up there right now that's all you need just hit download manually and you will download that then you're also going to go over to my wild hunt adaptive reshade go into the files tab and you will download um, the version that you want to use. I actually have three versions. I have one for vanilla lighting, one for super turbo lighting mod version, and a two salt lighting everywhere version. Uh, pick the version that you want to use, hit download manually, and let it download. So I got the files right here, the different SFX presets one, and my reshade right here. You're going to want to go ahead and extract these files to a location wherever you usually extract them. Okay, so there we go, got them extracted right here. So, install. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and open up the different SFX reshade presets for each location. You wanna install this first before you install my reshade. So you'll copy the bin and the mods folder. Right click, copy, you can close that folder out. And you're gonna wanna go to your Witcher 3 folder, which is the same location as your mods folder. Just go ahead, right click, and paste. Uh, you wouldn't actually normally see an uh, overwrite there. Um, I, I still have one of the XML files still installed, so don't worry about that. Then what you're going to do is you'll see, once you install that, that in the mods folder you actually have the mod SFX presets. And then in your bin x64 folder, which is where your, your Witcher 3 uh, application file is, you will see that you have an application for different SFX presets as well as a locations preset folder. Now right now, this location presets folder has just a default reshade files in there there's there's nothing active so even if you were to start this up you would not see you would see reshade load but you would see no effects of reshade so what you want to do to get that to work is then you're gonna go into my file that you downloaded Wild Hunt Adaptive open it up and you're gonna copy the locations preset the reshade folder as well as the D3 D11 file and the reshade note right click copy and go back into your x64 folder and paste. You allow this to overwrite. What this is doing is overwriting the location presets with my actual reset uh, reshade uh, presets. So here you see each location and how this actually works is when you activate this before you start the game and then you go in and load a game it will detect your location and what it does is once it does that, it goes to the location file and it takes these files, copies them, and automatically pastes them into the master reshade file right here. And that's what you will see load into your game, depending on the location. So, but again, uh, you want to make sure in your x64 folder that you start up this application every time that you start the game. All right, so what I'll do now is show you guys how to install their performance version of Wild Hunt Adaptive for those that want to use it. By default, it is the full quality version that gets installed. So what you want to do to use the performance version is open up my folder that you downloaded, the Wild Hunt Adaptive, 
and just go into the performance version folder and just copy the location presets. Once you copy, just go right back into your x64 folder and hit paste and just allow to overwrite. And all that does is change the location presets from full quality to performance. So once you start up your, your start up this and start your game, it will load the performance version of the files. All right, so just a couple other quick things just to cover. Uh, one thing that the mod author talks about on the reshade presets for each location is that your user any file needs to be open, not set as a read only. Because basically what happens when you run this application in your game and it detects your location, it loads, it tells what preset to load via your user any. So what you want to do is open up your Witcher 3 folder in your My Documents folder and go to your user file. Right click on it go to properties and make sure that it's not set as a read only if it is you need to uncheck it hit apply and then hit OK um, so that it's open because what it does is it will add these lines right here into your user any and it can't do that if you have it as a read only file okay and the, the last thing is more of an optional thing for you as far as the last step in the install um, if you go to the mod authors page of the different SFX, go on to his description page, he talks about putting a hot key. And what it does is allows you to press the numpad uh, key number nine, and it will refresh the location for you um, and make sure that you have the correct preset loaded. So what you can do is on his description page, just copy this line right here. And you're going to go into, again, back to your Witcher 3 folder in your My Documents, and you're going to open up the input. And then under Exploration, you're going to add this that line that you just pasted in there. So you'll just right-click and paste it in there. So I already have it pasted in mine, so I'm just not going to have it in there. So And then you would just hit File and save and you would be all set so now when you want to play the game you're just going to open up your x64 folder and then open up this application right here and you'll see this box pop up and it will show that you are using reshade it detected your witcher 3 x exe so when the game loads up it will detect your location and it will tell you right down here what preset it loaded whether it be like dovergrad white orchard etc and you'll be up and running should be all good to go if you have any questions, let me know.